Hey guys, it's me, Tomato, and I'm back. I know y'all been asking for this, so here's a bit more Panzer Corps for you Panzer fanatics out there. Um, speaking of fanatics, we got, uh, we got a new fanatical unit last time. Uh, this third special equipment, infantry. Um, been looking over this one for about a week now. Not really because it's complicated, but mostly because, uh, busy week with finals coming up and all that, and almost graduating high school. Pulling the most amazing senior prank ever, and, um, stuff like that. Just been pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and kick it off with the, I think I explained the strategy last time, but I'll do it again to myself. Push up the canal, don't bother with, um, Brussels, or whatever the hell this place is called. Wert! Wert! I don't know what to call it. Vert. Anyway, so looking at the unit deployments, looks like we've already got an 88 down here in the south. Uh, it's towed by a truck, so that's already good. Two flak whirlings, also truck towed, so those are mobile. Go ahead and kick it off with some infantry in the top. And uh, someone kicked my door, I thought someone was coming in. <laughs> um, go ahead and kick it off with some Wehrmacht in the front. Put some Wehrmacht over here, they will seize the airfield immediately. These Fallschirmjägers might not use them this time. I'll use these Grebsjägers initially in the south, probably to flank around the sides and uh, sort of secure our um, west flank, since there do happen to be mountains in the way, whereas there aren't that many over here. And so I'll set them up over here. Some Grebsjägers. Is this the first? Where's the first? Give me the first. They will pretty much do their whole scouty doohickey thing while these other guys help clear out this side. Also, a few other things. People have told me about my artillery being too small and I kind of looked at them weird and then they were like, your, your cannons can be transported by airplanes if you don't have trucks, but I like trucks on my artillery, so we're just going to cram some more big guns on there. Get some of that stuff together, throw a really big cannon on it, and put an 88 in the north. Uh, I'm gonna keep these trucks around like that because they're cool like that and stuff and I don't know. Uh, throw some Stukas up. Put a fighter plane on each one. And we'll throw up an extra fighter plane for good measure. Alright, now my Panzers are old and outdated and totally don't look as cool as they could. So we're gonna go ahead and update our Panzers to Panzer IVs. Which costs a shit ton. How much does a regular Panzer IV cost? 278. I'm just going to buy a new Panzer IV. Because, I mean, this isn't that much experience lost anyway. So we'll cram these two guys in the north. I'll actually take this 10 centimeter out and put him up here in the north as well. We will lead with the Grenadier Division. Or, well, they are divisions, actually. I wonder what they are. If anyone knows what the unit, like, the um, level of command that I am supposed to be in with the level of command my men are is. That'd be pretty nice to know. Uh, we'll put our new special equipment guy. Actually, I'm going to, real quick, throw overstrength to that. Just because I don't have any overstrength units and I want to try them out. Uh, we'll throw our new guy up here to help out with that assault. We'll put our old panzer down here in the south. Put some extra guys in that. Some more grenadiers. These are all truck people now, so... Although I'm gonna go ahead and say we're gonna push really hard on the south, since most objectives... I'd say are more easily accessed from the south. And this one is counting out a lot of... I don't know, we're just gonna push up really hard in the south, because I want to. Um... I can pop down two more units, so probably some more Grebesjagers. Over here. Actually... What we really need is some reconnaissance. You have more shots, but your boars hit literally everything. Uh, I'm gonna take one of these. Just which one of you has better range? They all have the same range. This one has worse gas. This one's better at taking on tanks. I kind of want it to be able to take on stuff, so we'll, we'll try them both out. We'll put that one up there. We'll put this one down here. And we'll just kind of see what happens. And that's uh, all the units we have time for. These guys will all be saved for another operation another day. 
I have to advance a little bit slowly because this time because we don't have our AA cannons on point along with our 88s, but eh, whatever. Let's see what we got. Alright, so kick it off with that guy being right there, doing his thing, being there. Uh, actually, let's see if we can get this recon car to move up there, get some eyes on. Can't move down anymore. Move the 12th Grebbe's Yager over to position to take that town since it is relatively light resistance. Also, turn my game volume up so I can hear what the hell's going on. Move my uh, grenadiers into their initial attacking position. Open fire. Just rip through them with that extra infantry unit. Uh, I won't actually waste my artillery on that. Instead, I'll just have the 10th Wehrmacht use their bodies to take it out. Let's get that wrecky car uh, up and running. Keep re reconnoitering the area. Can I not do cool stuff? Can you not do cool stuff? I'll move this guy over here and try and take out that artillery right quick. Because artillery is mucho bad. Um... Yeah, just knock that guy off. Not up, that'd be weird. Um, grab a Messerschmitt and try and knock out their air force so they can reinforce it. Pew, 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 pew. Down go the biplanes. Good job, everybody. Um, yeah, we'll take a few losses trying to take the airfield, but we'll take out the AA, which is all that matters. And our special equipment units will begin the march. Um, I really want to advance the north guys up along the road, try and secure this road first. And these points actually take a sort of secondary priority, even though they're our primary target. We want to secure the roads alongside them and cut them off from reinforcements and the like. Trying to find a good place that doesn't involve- oh, just go in the city. Alright, so the first grab is Yager. Move you guys up one to support those guys. Move you guys up one. If we can drive them out of the city with artillery fire, it would be very useful. But the last is not to be. Um, I'll move up here just simply because I don't- actually, wait, no. You guys get out of that truck. Get out. Panzer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I knew I kept you around for some reason. And we'll seize that first starting town of assault right quick. Uh, this should be fun since they don't have um, any what looks like to be protection around that thing. Uh, we'll move our infantry. No, we won't. We'll move somebody. Somewhere, somebody. Move these guys into the mountains, they'll get their bonus to initiative and just destroy that gentleman. Um, hmm. I'm gonna kinda do some reconnaissance flights right now. Spot a reconnaissance car. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna go hang out over here then with this Mr. Schmidt to escort them. And pull this 88 up along with them. Stick this guy back here with the 88. Try not to create too much of a traffic jam. Since it doesn't look like there's anyone over here for the next few blocks, blocks, um, for a while. Go ahead and move the 8th up here. And this guy to this place. Get that 88 mobile. And get this AA gun moving. Go ahead and toggle the turn. Bomber shows up immediately and bombs my trucks because, of course, they would. Hidden AA gun hits my Stuka from that field. 
and the surprise attack by a bunch of infantry who no one would ever have expected to surprise attack us. I mean, seriously. I think it's safe to move once. Don't ever think it's safe. Ever. Take this town. Play shoot em up with the farmers outside. Nope, shit. Uh, take that back. Bomb the thingy. Which will then explode? Nope, never mind. Try and get some good information on what's beyond this thing. Get some good information. Bomb the scout car, try and keep him blind. I know I'm pushing more west right now, but I'm, I'm kind of wary of counterattacks. I'm going to try and shoot down these aircraft real quick, because I feel like most of the Air Force is going to be on the offensive for some reason. Just move these uh, guys up there. Give that 88 a <laughs> we're at the, um, those guys up there, knock them straight out of the sky. Uh, do do do. Gotta find a way to get this artillery in range. I put some in range of them, which is good enough for me. Should put these guys in range of something. Nope, never mind, alright. Uh, we will strike them hard with our special equipments. Uh, whatever these guys are called, moving in. Mop them up through the field, they retreat, retreat. And we will advance quickly to take this bridge. Looks like we're facing little bits of resistance in the south. Which is... Moderately troubling because it means they've concentrated in the north. And I don't want to assault that. Whoops. Um, pump some shells into the town. Move up to assault it. Move into the town. And we will keep... Oh shit, I can't do it anymore, damn it. Oh hey. So nice to meet you. <laughs> um... Send my recce car up there to help them deal with their problem. It should keep them a little bit quiet. We'll try and concentrate our tanks to smash this one unit in particular. They should surrender rather rapidly. If they're smart. Or they'll just die. And we'll move up to there. Move our artillery into position. Ow. And, uh. Shoot down that bomber so that they don't give us any more problems. I wonder if Rough Terrain uses the close combat. It looks like it does. I wonder if I can, if this 5 is low enough for me to assault it. Yeah, no, those are the same. So we'll go ahead and move this tank to try and intercept these oncoming hot chest tanks. And, uh, do do do. Try and get these guys moving. And I'll just sprint straight up that way, trying to get some good recce going. Haven't lost anybody so far, and I'm gonna start the timer right now, so however long it took me to get started will be up to then. Five to two. I almost wanna take it. You know, I'm gonna take it. It's a new tank, let's break it in. Yep, it's definitely broken. Slightly in, also. 
Welcome to the war. People die. Mostly because of my inept tactical decisions, but sometimes because they need to. Um, we'll go ahead and let the AI respond. It's a pretty decent response. What the fuck are they getting all these bars? Tank moves up. And some horses. Some terrifying horses. I wonder if uh, do they get to use their close combat value from the south like that? Can they can they do that? I just I just don't know. My flak verling will teach that bomber a lesson in respect and staying away from the rest of I don't want to select the BF one oh nine. I mean I do now, but I don't want to right select him. Mm-hmm. So we'll go ahead and throw our Stukas at them. There's a large uh, infantry fight developing in the south, which we need to quell quickly. These tanks also need to be fixed as quickly as possible. This thing needs to get in range. I'm going to switch them to a ground attack posture. No, actually, I'm going to leave them in an aerial attack and see if I can't knock that bomber down. There we go. Then move them north. Move the artillery in range of them. So we'll attack with the grenadiers. Wiping out them. Move in with the first Krebs Jager. We should really be spearheading most of this. Move the 63rd around through the back. To try and outflank them. Actually, if I move the 63rd like that, will you guys be able to attack as hard? Yes, they will. Alright, so we'll hit them like that. 63rd up, and strike those guys. That's not the sixth tier, that's the sixth. Hmm. Our advance is going to stall here for a little while. I'll try and get some fighters to unscrew myself. I'm gonna go see if I can't find the mystical, probably semi magical. French airfield with the famed French fighters, which are some of the best machines ever created. Not really, I'm joking about the French. Um, is this a countryside? That's a forest. Nervous about that. Um, we'll concentrate our attacks on this guy, the 22nd Dutch Infantry. So artillery, special units. Take quite a pounding. Pound them again. Lots of pounding going on. Uh, reconnaissance will fire again since I really don't need them to fire at all. And we'll wipe those guys out. We'll see if we can't even just bypass this entire circuit. Yeah, this entire place looks kind of limp. I suspect a counterattack from the north, though, from uh, there, or maybe down the road to Antwerp. Well, I'm also must admit to being slightly nervous at the fact that I haven't encountered stiff resistance in the north. I may send one of my tanks south just to deal with all the random crap that seems to be coming out of it. Oh, almost shot at that guy. Instead, I think I'll just retreat. And I'll move you over here. Surprise! It's a tank! So everyone wants for their birthday. Someone just pop up and yell surprise! Then shout it's a tank and then people run away and 
It's altogether a terrifying, you know, maybe people don't want that for their birthday. But still, it'd be kind of interesting. If that's how your birthday went. You'd have a cool story to tell at, like, dinner parties and stuff. If you went to dinner parties, but you don't. You're here watching me play this game. Which must admittedly not be the most exciting thing you've ever done. Unless, you know, like, you really get turned out of the Phantom Corps, in which case then... Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what Frenchie has in store for us. Tanks. And tanks from the woods. Alright. What I've basically learned from my, le from my playthroughs so far is that trucks are evil. Always. Under no circumstances are trucks ever good for anyone. No! Grab his Yager. Were you the first? Really hope you weren't the first. I'll be so pissed at myself if they were the first. I must check. Ah, oh, the first survives yet again, somehow, inviting my inept command decisions. I will break this infantry assault. Alright, cool. Now that we've done that, we can, uh, get back to sticking our way through these tanks. Then we shoot the tank with the thing, which then shoots us. Casualties are gonna be high this mission, I can feel it. We don't have the giant ar German armor destroyers that we do yet. Nope, all we got are these pens and knackers. So we'll go ahead and fly back up to the north because we're confident. Where were you? It was up here somewhere. I'll set this gun up in a offensive posture. Clear out the road. Artillery. Tank. Move up and take the city with the tank because that was a stupid idea, but still. Um, shoot the thingy with the other thingy. Move my AA gun through an obviously safe corridor. Hmm. Not seeing as many airplanes, so I'll stick him into anti tank gun mode. Pop him right over here. Pop this guy and dive bomb those gins. Just to remind him that I'm here, always watching, always waiting. And then we'll give that mountain horse ride. That's only one, and I can live with losing one guy. One to four odds, I'm alright with that. Move this up to protect our tanks and our ED-8 from uh, whatever it's called, fire. And we'll kill off that infantry a little bit too. Need to keep him weakened. Also earned a lot of my prestige back. So I'll go ahead and buy some more pioneers. For the south, because I keep getting attacked by random crap. And um I know there's something good I can get. Anti tank Panzer Yaga would actually be pretty decent. They're not amazing, but they are they're mobile. That's what I like about them, and I'll put it down in the south, since we seem to be getting some shit. And we rip a bit into, a bit into that tank. And we'll have to send those Dukas north eventually, too. Because it does look like a good deal of counterattack is coming our way. So 
So I'll fire some tank rounds off into this horse. Wonder if that would be a really great sentence in some st somewhere. Feels like it, it. It words like a good sentence. I'll move this 88 up. Open fire. And that 88 will get its first tank kill. Move this guy up to get him some more ammo. Move this guy up to get me some more reconnaissance. Looks like we got a lot of Brits coming down from the north. So, oh shit, I'm, I should really... I should do a bit more than take a defensive posture. I should take up a offensive air patrol posture. Knock that bomber out of this guy. So yeah, the Brits are coming. So we should probably set up in a really defensive posture. Uh, we got enough shots left, but I'm going to start reinforcing. Which are going to come down this road. Try and smash through. So the first thing I want to do get my tanks out into the open. This guy over there. Tell my reconnaissance guy to go figure out what the hell's at this airfield. If there's nothing there, we'll... Stupid fucking French. Um... See, a large counterattack looks like it came from Antwerp down this road. You need to see the Albert Canal Bridge, number whatever. The whatever. And, um... Yeah. Start moving my pioneers up too. Yeah. Hmm. Fire on the horses just because it looks like I can inflict more casualties on them than I can elsewhere. I'll put that guy at the end of his range, so I'll put him out there. <sighs> I'll advance these men. Basically, the yes, we finally got rid of that bastard. I'll pretty much put these guys at the end of their range. No. Reinforced. Advance. Hold. Hold. Panther knocker standing by. Hold. I want to see what's behind them. Looks like this will be the main body of the assault coming down this road, which means our shot will be a key crossroad, as well as this crossroad right here. I more have to analyze this as I'm going than I do otherwise. I'm uh, gonna a little, run a little low on prestige here, but that's alright. I'm gonna move this guy back here, actually, leave him hanging around. Uh, wait for this guy to pop down. Pop a few shots off at me, we'll pop a few at him. We'll have a wonderful time popping stuff at each other. <laughs> I just want to see this for fun. Yeah, that's about what I thought it'd be. And uh, I'll try and get some artillery support to right about here. It's a big gun, too. Should make a difference. Uh, also in the north, I bet I can you can afford another Panzer Knocker. Yep, lots of mobile Panzer Knockers. And they're even better than the 88s, also. So you know, it's a good deal. Anyone not moved? You're all right. You're all right. You're right. You're all right. You're all right. All right. All right then. Actually, I'm gonna move this guy up here just to hold in reserve in the back. Um, go ahead and end the turn. Yeah, getting a few rounds popped off at me. And our guy's gonna hold into their dug in position in the hills. Ah, that 88 pounds away in its rugged defense. Takes quite a few hits, though. But they're holding back the tanks as is. The Constance car takes quite a beating, but manages to put some herd out at the same time. Uh, cavalry chasing down the recon car though. Ah well, guess we found out who's better and who's not. Those tanks still up there? Need to find out. Yes, they are. Now if I can counterattack into them. I'll move this tank down here. Which I will. I'll move this gentleman up here. Which I have done. Actually, if I fire into you, no, I would inflict serious casualties upon my own men. 
Uh, we'll move this Stuka up and engage this cruiser. What are you? A Matilda. I want to gauge your differences. What is your armor defense? Armor defense of six. Armor defense of fuck no. We will bomb this thingy. And I'll kind of cycle these Messerschmitts back out. Unless they're, you know, good. In which case then we won't cycle them out. We'll uncycle them. And we'll shoot at those guys just to make them feel bad. Because they are bad. And they should feel bad for existing. And stuff. And we'll run our anti-tank defenses around like crazy some things. Except for this guy. You'll also shoot at that thing on the bridge. Because that bridge is annoying me. And it's giving them reconnaissance data. Nope, 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 fuck, they're stuck. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and let him up with that tank. And uh, this Pioneer guy's actually have to get the hell out of the way. So that I can move my anti-aircraft unit down. This guy's up here. Smash him in the north, actually, because I can move this 11 strengther up there. My special equipment guys will try and bust them down here in the south. First we'll get reinforced. We'll smash them with the... Oh. Why not smash? Be smash! Smash! Yay! We'll see if there's nothing left there. They must have gone north for the winter, which is coming for France. And I'll rush these guys up north that way. And we'll push our own counterattack on them. Forcibly. And with great fervor. And other words used to describe things that are done enthusiastically. Uh, move like that. Mm hmm. Also, reinforce. Let them get closer so that, that Stuka can. So Stuka has time to do stuff. I'll move so I can hold right there and we'll straight the infantry run down that road. I'll begin to pull that 88 back. I'll actually pull him back to over here. Straight out of the line of fire. And we will be attacked by a gun carriage. Uh, a giant ass tank comes out of the woods screaming at us. And. Oh, look, it's terrifying. Matilda's here. And I've lost my brand new Panzer IV. Damn. It was so shiny. Um, I'll just go that people can't see hand signs when they're behind doors. And we'll instead just kind of continue shouting at dogs, which should really be out of my room by now. This guy is surprisingly not as dead as I thought he'd be. And it's time for our panzer, anti-panzers to, oh shit, I don't have any. Oh fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh yeah, I do! There's one. Anti-panzer. Anti-panzer. I could have done so much better with him. You're a disappointment to literally everyone. So we'll reinforce this guy. Dog go away. No dog. Dog is trying to stop my invasion plans. It's not even a French breed. Down! the dog. It's really close to the end of the episode. I might just cut it here so I can deal with the dog. Um, nah. We'll go ahead and open fire on those guys and then we'll pull this tank back, or tank artillery back. Move my anti-tank piece into position. Not seeing any giant tank threats so I'll move this anti-tank piece north also. Move him north. See if we can't get a massive counterattack rolling. Use up the last of his ammo. No, do we want to use up the last of his ammo? No. I'll uh, move him over here. 
you need to reinforce you need to resupply and I'll get you your extra unit later I'll try and fight my way through that gun carriage with tanks dingo I wonder if it eats babies really hope someone understands that joke people don't just think I'm a sick bastard good on you surrendering you get to get you 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 got the achievement still alive you survived World War two congratulations now, was that that hard the answer is no it wasn't really that hard now we're gonna bomb this Matilda again because fuck Matilda whoever she is she probably deserves it and we're gonna bring these guys up here too because fuck Matilda seriously go away Matilda unless your name is Matilda in which case then welcome to the channel Matilda um, have fun listening to me curse you out because you're a French tank or is it a British tank? I'll have to check I think you're a French tank though and I will use my 88 as offensively as I want Alka influence um. Yeah, finally got that artillery into position, which I think it was already in position. And I will shoot them, and they will explode from happiness of being shot at, because being shot at makes you happy, according to Winston Churchill. I I think that's what I got from his whole speech thing about getting shot at and being exhilarated. It's like having really weird sex, apparently. Churchill was kind of weird. Um, so yeah, this is the giant British counterattack, and I will shoot at it, because that's what you do with counterattacks. You know, it's kind of in the whole deal, it's, it's an attack that they did after you attacked. You know, it could really just be like, everything is a counterattack after Poland, except for the part where we attacked people. Tactically attacked. I wonder if I can straight them out of the city. Aw, oh, that would've been so cool. Precision air raids, German style. I mean, it's, it's, it's precise enough if it levels the whole city block. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next part. Um, I've been Tomato. This has been the opening to this hell of a firefight. See you there.